morning, St. Helens. Welcome to my assembly. Today is about our journey through the church year known as the liturgical calendar. Let's start my assembly by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Last week, Mr. Fraser talked about all of us belonging to large and small communities. We belong to the community of Brentwood or where you live. St. Helens Junior School, or our clubs, our family, and our church community. Today, I'm going to talk to you about us journeying with Christ and sharing his way of life. The church's year celebrates the key elements of Christ's life. The journey which the Christian community takes during the church's year is known as the liturgical year. What does liturgical mean? The word liturgical means the church family's celebration and remembrance of the journey of Jesus when he lived on earth. It begins with the first Sunday of Advent and ends with the Feast of Christ the King. It is a calendar of Sundays, feast days and special seasons which are celebrated during one year. The church year helps us to be close to the work of the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son and the Holy Spirit, with prayer and worship throughout the seasons of the year. It brings the church family together as everyone shares in the celebrations. Following the celebrations, Christians are sent out to love and serve God in the world. Just as in our own school year, the church has different seasons which we will learn about today. The first Sunday of the church's year is the first Sunday of Advent. The church family journeys with Jesus through the major events of his life, death and resurrection. The season of Advent is four Sundays before the 25th of December. The colour purple which the priest wears in Advent helps us to remember that we are preparing for the coming of Christ. Did you notice that this was the colour of the cloth in our RE tables at this time? During this time, the four candles on the Advent wreath are lit each Sunday and the fifth white candle is lit on Christmas Day. The season of Christmas tide is a time of great joy and celebration. As we remember the journey Mary took and the birth of her special baby Jesus. When you go to church at this time, the colour white would be worn by the priest to help us to remember great joy and celebration. During this Christmas season, we listen to readings from the Bible. We especially enjoy the stories of the Nativity and the Shepherd's visit, the journey the wise men took to meet the newborn King and the Epiphany, and the story of the baptism of Jesus. The feast days and celebrations mark the special events in the life of Jesus, Mary his mother, or a saint. The feast of the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The feast of Mary and Mother of God is on the 1st of January. The feast of the Epiphany of the Lord on the 6th of January. After these festivities, we move into the first period of ordinary time in the church's year. It begins after the baptism of Jesus and ends on the Sunday before the beginning of Lent. Green is the colour the priest wears during ordinary time because it symbolises life and hope. It is seen everywhere in trees and plants. Did you notice that this is the colour of the cloth on our RE tables at the moment? In ordinary time, we are reminded that God is always there to help us live as Christians. We listen to readings from the Bible which tell us of Jesus' life, as people follow him to be healed and listen to his teachings. The season of Lent is 40 days from Ash Wednesday until Palm Sunday. The colour purple during Lent reminds us that it is the season of fasting, prayer and penance. 
This is when the cloth on the RE table is changed to purple again. Holy Week begins with Palm Sunday and is the last Sunday of Lent. We celebrate the triumphant arrival of Jesus Christ in Jerusalem days before he was crucified. Palm branches are used on Palm Sunday as a symbol of peace and victory. Good Friday is the day on which we commemorate the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Red, the colour of blood, is used on Palm Sunday and on Good Friday to remind us of the bloodshed at Jesus' crucifixion. Easter is the celebration of Christ's resurrection from the dead. It is celebrated on Easter Sunday. It is the most important holiday on the Christian calendar. The white colour reminds us of when Jesus rose from the dead on the third day following his crucifixion on the cross. The Easter season lasts for seven weeks. During this season, we celebrate Jesus' ascension into heaven to be seated at the right hand of the Father. Pentecost is also known as Whit Sunday. It's celebrated on the seventh Sunday after Easter, which is the 23rd of May this year. It is the church's birthday. Many people wear red on this day and use red decorations to celebrate the church's birthday. The symbols of Pentecost are the flame, wind and the dove, which represents the Holy Spirit. After all these special events, which mark the end of Jesus' life and the coming of the Holy Spirit, we spend the rest of the year in ordinary time until the Sunday before the beginning of Advent. During this time, we are again reminded that God is always there to help us to live as Christians. We do this every day by saying prayers, by being kind to each other, showing respect, always having a smile on your face, accepting when we have done something wrong, being able to say sorry and being able to forgive. The last day of the church year is on Sunday the 21st of November this year and is celebrated as the Feast of Christ the King. It is a celebration of his life, his death and his resurrection and reminds Christians that his kingship was all about service. So you can see that we've come right round the full journey of the, the church and the end of the year is here. Right now I'd like to for you to listen to the reading which is taken from John chapter 13 verses 14 to 15. At the last supper Jesus poured water into a basin and washed his disciples' feet. When they were all clean, he asked, Do you understand what I have done to you? I will not let you to have water to wash you. You also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Jesus gave us this special task to go out and to serve our community in any way we can by following his footsteps. Now put your hands together, bow your heads, and let us pray. Let us pray. Perfect life of revelation, as you, sh you shone in the life of Jesus, who is the victory we celebrate so kind in us and show us that we may become beacons of truth and compassion, enlightening all creation with deeds of justice and mercy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, children. Right, the thought of the day. The thought of the day. Throughout our lives, of we are taking small and large steps, someone is always there to help and to guide us. Lovely. So, as it says on here, following Jesus keeps us on the right path on our journey through life. So thank you for listening. I'm going to end this uh, assembly with the sign of the cross, which shows that we all belong to the church community.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I'd like you to listen to the hymn, Follow in the Footsteps, which has been sung by the Year 3 children who are in school, and Mrs Romhani uh, recorded this during their music lesson. So I'd like to thank Mrs Romhani very much for doing that for us. Thank you.